Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we actually have another vehicle for you guys. This one is a Shelby Cobra and this one has actually been designed by TJC05. Now if you guys want to go and check out TJC feel free to do so. There's a link in the description to his Planet Minecraft page. So go and check him out and uh, yeah you also can just uh, actually just download this schematic. So if you guys don't want to do the tutorial you can just go and grab that off his page and uh, give him a thumbs up and a diamond. Anyway this is the actual Shelby uh, Cobra that we've got. Looks pretty cool, so I've just shoved it on the li like the roads of Lioness, so you know, got all this stuff around it, and it seems to have kind of like fit in pretty well on the fast roads. And yes, I'm on the UK side of the road, we're not driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> For those Americans that go in, crazy. Um, but it's pretty cool, and pretty simple. So what we're going to do guys, is we're going to jump over onto my tutorial world, and we'll do a uh, kind of universal version. Obviously this is a, in a way, a modded version, because of the wheels and the lights that you can't do, um, but yep, yeah, we'll go and uh, jump over to that and uh, yeah, we'll get this tutorial done. Okay, so here we are on the tutorial world. So, nice and simple design, really, really cool. Um, so what you're going to need base materials wise anyway, just grab some black wool, grab, grab a button, grab your quartz slab, stair, and also block as usual. You're also going to need a sign, note block for the engine piece, a ladder, and some sort of colour. Like blue carpet, for example, looks really good in this. Uh, I am using Conquest of the Sun, so the blue is actually darkened a bit, but that's just how uh, that shit works. But it works really well for stuff that's white. Anyway, that's pretty much it. All we're going to do is we're going to have one block here, leave a block gap per block, and leave two blocks. We're going to have the same here. So we've just got one block between each of them and two blocks in between the middle. Right on the front, what we're going to do is we're going to put a court stair like that, and a court stair there. Then grab your note block, and we're just going to shove that right in between. This is going to be the engine piece. You can also use stuff like a furnace and, and things like that. You know, there's tons of blocks anyway. Uh, behind that, you're just going to place a block like that. And what we're going to do here is going to have a stair on, on the back of the wheel. Going that way, and the same on the other side as well. Stair that way, and a stair that way. So on the front piece here, we're just going to put in a block like that. And then we're going to do... It's actually, we, we're going to put in a block on this piece as well, just right in between those two. Slight der uh, derivation of this design, but I think it'll probably look better. Then right on the back, just three upside down stairs. Really simple like that. That gives us the base of the whole thing. We're just going to put a button on the wheels. Could look a little bit better. There we go, like that. And then what we can do as well, we can put our stripe. Actually, I'm going to go red this time. Let's go red. Yeah. So I always mix it up. You know, you can build the same like vehicle a couple of times and just do different colours. Um, there we go. We're going to have a red stripe on the front as well. Then what we can actually do is if we grab some, let's grab some snow. We're going to put a piece of snow on the floor. That will just be our little like, seating area. You could, I mean, you know, raise this up a little bit if you wanted to, or something. It's up to you. Now, on each of the wheels, we're just going to put one piece of snow like that. It's just to make it look a lot smoother. Um, and it does make it lots look, like, look a lot smoother. We're also going to need some iron bars just for this middle piece. So shove that in there. And we're also going to need grey stained glass pane or white stained or whatever and just put these on the front piece there like that so I mean that's pretty much the base design really simple um, but what we're going to do now is stuff that creates lag like item frames because <laughs> yeah we are anyway so what we've got is if we grab our yellow and if we grab our red for example on the front we can actually put a item frame here and here and put your yellow box in between there like that and then on the back what we can do is we can do the same but with red this time, so those are your red stoplights. Now, one thing that we always need to do is actually credit the creator of this one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a number plate on mine, and it's the easiest way to do is a number plate. So, it's uh, there we go, TJC, that's right, <laughs> 05, not 06. And we're just going to do that, and that's the best way. So, that's the guy that's made this one or created this one. So, there we go, that's what we get. And we also need to put signs on the side here. To make it look like it's actually joined up. There we go. So put a couple of signs in like that. And that, guys, will get you the Shelby Cobra designed by TJC. So if you guys want to go and check him out on Planet Minecraft, there'll be a link in the description. But it looks pretty cool. I think you'll agree. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. 